Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about order by limit and offset. The topics that we will cover up in this video are order by clause and its syntax, limit clause and its syntax, offset clause and its syntax and of course some point of caution while using order by limit and offset. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with this video. Order by clause is used to retrieve the data in a specific order of a field value. Order by clause is of two types, ascending or descending. By default, the data will be retrieved in ascending order only. For example, here you can see there are three SQL queries written, where in the first one, we haven't used ascending or descending. In the second one, we have specifically specified ascending. And in the third one, we have specified descending. Where in the first and the second one, it will show the records in the ascending order of the name. Whereas in the third one, it will show in the descending order of the names. The limit clause is used to limit the number of rows returned by a SQL. It is used to specify the maximum number of records to be fetched. Though it is optional, it is highly recommended to use in SQL queries. For example, the following SQL query will return only 5 records from the account object with ID name and type field. In Apex, the SQL query with limit 1 or query resulting in a single record can be fetched in a single variable of S object instead of a list. We have already discussed that when we are fetching the record by specifying the record ID, then we can store it in a singleton object. Similarly, when you are using limit 1, then also you will get only one record. So in that scenario also, you can use a singleton object. Offset clause is used to specify the number of records to be skipped for returning the result from the query. This is generally used when we are fetching the records in batches. For example, this specific query will return account records from record number 21. Hence, it will skip the first 20 records. Point to consider with offset clause, the maximum offset can be 2000 only. Requesting more than 2000 as an offset will result an exception number outside valid range. A subquery can use offset only if the parent query has a limit 1 clause. A subquery cannot use offset with the where clause. It is recommended to use the order by clause with the offset to ensure the result set order is consistent. It is also recommended to use the limit clause with offset to retrieve subset of the same result set. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of order by limit and offset. So first of all, we are going to talk about order by clause, which is used to show the records in a specific order. If you remember in the last session, we have discussed about plenty of operators. So let me just modify that query and let me find out name type annual revenue phone from account and let me execute this. Now you can clearly see it is showing me 13 records, but if I want to see the records in a specific order, for example, in the alphabetical order of name, so I can use order by and then name and then after you can mention ASC for ascending and DESC for descending. If you won't mention ASC or DESC, by default, it will take it as ascending only. So if now I will execute this, I will get the records in the ascending order or alphabetical order of the name. Now, if you are applying any clause, for example, if I want to apply where clause over here, suppose I want to see where annual revenue is not blank. So I will use where clause and then after I will use order by. So let me click on execute. And here you go. If you will change the, this order, like if you are applying where clause after order by, then definitely you will get a syntax error. So here I'm going to get a syntax error. So make sure that the order by should be after your where clause. Now, if I want to see it in descending order, then in that case, I have to explicitly specify DESC execute. And here you go. Now it is coming in the descending alphabetical order of the name. And this order by clause can be applied on any field. Now there's a point of catch over here. Let me remove this where and let me show it in the descending order or ascending order of annual revenue. Now if I will execute this, you will find 
that though annual revenue is coming in descending order but all the records where annual revenue is null they are coming first and then those records are coming with some values now it is not because of descending order even if you will execute in ascending order those null fields will come first so keep that in mind so if you are applying order by clause on a specific field that if that field is having null for any of the record then that record will come first even in ascending or in descending order so whenever you are applying this i would recommend you to use where clause to check for null as well so here i will apply where annual revenue is not null and then i will order it by the annual revenue and now these null fields will not be shown so that is a point of catch when you are using the order by clause the next clause that we are going to discuss today is limit now limit is a clause which can be used to limit the values which you are getting as a result now definitely if i am performing this normal query i am going to get 13 records right but i can apply a limit over here now if i will apply a limit over here i can limit the result of it for example if i apply as limit 2 then there can be any records but it will give me two records only as you can see that now there's a small piece of advice from my side and it is also recommended from Salesforce as well to use order by clause with limit so that you can be sure about what type of record you are getting. For example, right now if I am executing it, I can apply an order by clause over here. Order by. So you can see I have used a where clause and then I am using order by annual revenue uh, in descending order and then I am limiting it to two. So it will show me only two records. You can also notice the order of writing the clauses. So after the name of the S object, the where clause should be there. Then you have to mention the order by and this limit should be at the end always. If you will change this order anyhow, it is going to give you an error. Now there is one more point to understand about the limit. Let me show that with the help of a code. Now if I'm writing down this specific query in the code, definitely it's going to give me a list of account right so let me create a list of account over here and let me show the whole query to you now when we are performing a query i told you about singleton object in one of the previous video so when we are performing a query and we are applying some where clause and we are sure that this specific where clause is going to return only single record then we can hold it in a singleton object right for example let me create an account singleton object let me comment out this whole thing that I have written early and here let me write a query like select name type from account okay where ID and I can I can mention a specific record ID in case if I'm having a specific record ID so let me get a record ID I'm opening a specific account and copying the record ID from here now this specific query guarantees that it is going to return a single value it is going to return a single record and that's why I can hold it in a singleton object right I can print that as well let me quickly print it and execute in the debug you will find that result okay now coming to the point when you are using singleton object there is a chance of exception there is a chance of error as well now suppose if I'm providing name like uh, u percent okay now in this situation it is not guaranteed that it's going to return only a single record right it can return more than one records and in that scenario, you will get an exception. Let me show you. Here you see, list has more than one row for assignment. So here list has more than one row and you are trying to assign that in a singleton object. That's why you are getting this error. So with the help of limit, you can overcome this as well. Okay. What you can do is you can apply here limit one. Now this guarantees no matter it is returning more than one rows or what. But when I'm applying limit one, it guarantees that this whole query is going to return only one record and then with the help of limit one you can definitely and surely assign it to a singleton object now if i will execute it i won't get any error here you go so this is another use of limit that you can do in the code as well right now the next and the last clause that we are going to discuss is offset now offset is used to specify the number of records that we want to skip for example let me show you that with the help of a query let me close all tabs let me remove the limit from here let me execute this. okay so there are eight records over here according to this query and now you can see the second record is express logistics and transport right now in this scenario if i will use offset 
So with the help of off offset, I can mention how many records I want to skip. So with the help of offset, if I mention two over here, so it will skip the first two records and it will start showing from the third record itself. And because of that, it will show only six records to me. So with the help of offset, you can actually mention out of the given records that is coming as a result, how many records you want to skip. Okay. Now, of course, if I will skip eight over here in this query and execute, then I won't get any record as a result because there are only eight records and you are skipping all eight. So when you are using offset, be careful, like how many records you are getting as a result or you may get as a result and how many of them you want to skip actually. When you are using offset, it is highly recommended by Salesforce to use order by clause so that the order of the records can be decided in advance and then you are skipping exactly what you want to skip. Now there is a limit with offset as well, like you can offset up to 2000 records only. So if I'm removing everything from here and I'm just getting all the records of account, so there are 13 records. I know if with this 13 records, if I'm going to use offset 2000, I'm not going to get any result, but I want to show you like uh, the limit of the number that you can use with offset. So if I will click on execute, it is fine. But if I will use 2001 and click on execute, I will get number outside valid range exception because the maximum offset allowed in SQL is 2000 only. So keep that thing in your mind. Now, always keep in mind order by clause should be used. Always it is advised to be used with offset so that the order of the result is consistent for you. Also, it is recommended to use limit clause with offset whenever you want to retrieve a subset of a result. Now to show you this example, let's take a scenario. So I'm taking you to the org itself and we have a custom student object and I have created an age field over here to mention the age of each student. Now, suppose if I want to know uh, the second highest age of the student or the student with the second highest age, then I can use offset and limit together along with order by. So let's see that as a result. So let me query this. So here you can see I have used underscore underscore C with the API names because this is a custom object and these are custom fields. The same is with the object as well. And if I'm clicking on execute, I'm getting all the result. Now I want to know the name of the student who is second highest in age or the record of the student who is second highest in age. Now that's clear that here Ajay Chaudhary is the second highest according to the age. But how we will do that? So first of all, we will use order by as per student age in descending order. Now we have to use limit because we want only one record and we also have to use offset. Now, when we are using descending order, the first student will be Vikas Kumar Singh with the highest age. So we want to skip that. So we will use an offset. And after that, we want only one record, okay, which is the top record right now. So limit one. But the point is order where you will use it. So you will first use limit and then you will use offset. Offset should be after limit. Let me execute this. And here you can see it is giving me only one record, which is the student with the second highest age. So when we were using offset, we were getting some records by skipping some records. And from that records, if we want to get the subset of it, we will use limit as well. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.